at the shop, took off the clamps and everything for the false spars. Got a little help today. Thank you. Anyways, false spars turned out really nice. Fitment is all good. Get a little sand and get rid of some of the glue that's sitting there. Just gonna sand this down again. You've got your offset here. So it hangs over just a little bit. We'll get that cut down again. That's the dihedral cut into that wing. About three degrees, I think it is. So we'll just turn that off and make it perfect all the way down. And that's the false spar completed. Today we've been working on the rear flap spar. So that's the flap, there's the spar. Each wing, and the flap is just a wing, has to have a main structural part of it. And that is structural part of this flap. Just like the main spar up there is the structural part of the wing. So we've been working on this little flap. And the detail is right here. 1 8 ply and then a 1 quarter by 3 quarter piece of, it calls for pine. I've got fur to put on there. And then that spar, we put the top one on first and we don't put the bottom one on until after it's in place is what it's saying for when you flip the wing upside down so this doesn't stick out over the bottom I guess is the idea. I'm gluing the top one on first here and then we'll fit it into place and see how it fits and then I'll decide whether or not that goes on sooner or later. As you can see here where that would stick out the bottom and then you trim it to the bottom of the wing. And there it is laid up along the edge of the table. There's a little gap right there. That's that 1 8 gap from the top because it's going to be sliced at an angle for to match up with the wing. So anyways, that's that top spar cap, spar webbing for the flap. We'll get that one dried up, then we'll fit it into position in the wing. Then we mark where each of the ribs goes on here. This gets notched out and fits right in there. Uh, I don't know, do I have a detail on here? Yeah, right here. So here's the spar. There's a detail of how the notched out for each rib, top and bottom. And you'll see that there is a notch out of here over to the big plans and you can see more specifically that's that little cutout. And this is the inboard side. Attachment to the plane. A fuselage would go right here. So in here you have your attachment. Now, a couple other little details when you're doing this. When the rib, or when the flap is getting mounted to the wing, on a little hinge there. The hinge has to be above the line of the wing. For those that don't know, this plane has folding wings. And what you have to do is take the flap, fold it on top of the wing to fold the wings in. So that's one little detail there that the hinge, and specifically the, the hinge, whatever they call it, the hinge pin has to be above the plane of the wing, the top plane of the wing. So that flap can flip right on top. 